actually starting with some clips from a couple weeks I made earlier in the year. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Don't mind me. I'm so goofy. But yeah, so this is um, clips of a couple weeks I worked on a couple months back. I realized that I never showed y'all, so I was like, let me go ahead and insert them. So that is what you all are going to be watching now. So basically, I guess I didn't film everything that I did the day before. So this is the next day after I have created those wigs that I worked on the day before. And after I bleached the knots, as you can see, this hair is still a little bit of wet still. So I must have been in a rush. But what I'm going to do or what you all will see me doing is pluck and style these wigs and bring it to life. just about finishing up in my office i'm still waiting on one of these wigs to dry this one right here which is currently drying with a fan <laughs> with a fan this one is done y'all isn't this color just beautiful look at that part the parting is perfect look at that silk press look at that silk press <laughs> So those were all of the clips that I had from some work I did a couple months ago that I wanted to show y'all. Now what I am showing y'all is more so present time. So I think I'm talking to y'all about how last minute I am and how I need to hurry up and do my birthday week because this is the week that I made for myself to wear on my birthday. So y'all, I'm bleaching the knots with BW2. I don't even use BW2 no more. So I'm in my bathroom bleaching the knots and I gotta hurry up and put a wig together for my birthday so I can look like something. to go live while I'm here so I haven't gone live on Instagram in so long but I just literally started loving going live on Facebook so I think I'm gonna get I'm gonna go live on Facebook for 30 minutes and then go live on Instagram for 30 minutes but then again I haven't been present on Instagram at all seem like so <laughs> I don't 
don't know what I want to do. I've been a lot more active on Facebook. I feel like the people on Facebook still need to get to know me better. But then the people on my Instagram are way more interactive. pet peeves is waiting on other birthday was amazing I invited everybody that was important to me which is my friend my cousin my son and my boyfriend okay but anyways it is back to work I came home this particular day and FedEx had left me a package by the door so that means it's more wigs to make what you guys see me doing right now is I was bleaching the knots on some wigs but y'all see how it's a little brassy so y'all know we use the purple and we use the um blue shampoo to tone knots but blue shampoo and purple shampoo is only temporary so that will only last for a couple washes and then it's going to be back brassy again so i was like okay it is time to experiment in a way so i decided to try it on a wig with just a random wig just making a ready to ship wig so what i did was um after i attempted to tone the knots with blue purple shampoo i went to sally's and i had picked up like some new products we're gonna talk about it once we get to that point y'all y'all so here's what i picked up from sally's now what i picked up was inspired by miss tamika i watched miss tamika her um what is it called her tiktok channel and she had gave like a tutorial on how to really tone knots with hair dyes so i got a demi color 9na chair i don't know i don't know what none of that means okay <laughs> But I got it, I mixed it up together, and then I went ahead and put it on the wig that I'm gonna make as a ready to ship wig. I didn't wanna put it on my client's wigs right off bat because I just didn't know how it would react. And why did I pronounce Demi like that? What did I call it, Demi? <laughs> y'all 
y'all so just an update i do feel like the product tone the brassiness so as you can see like the lace is not orange it don't have like that orange tint to it no more but at the same time when you look at my mixing stick y'all see how my mixing stick it went from being beige and now it's like this dark color so i'm thinking like this might not be the way to go because I bleach the knots. I don't want the knots to go back to being dark brown, black, or whatever. So I don't know. It kind of worked, but it kind of did end, if that makes sense. So I don't know if I'm going to use this um, technique anymore. I'll have to try something different in the future. So while I'm taking pictures and packaging up these wig orders, I do want to come and answer a frequently asked question that I get asked a lot. And that is if I teach others how to make wigs on a sewing machine. And to answer that question, the answer is yes, I do. I do have an online wig course at onlinewigcourse.com. The new enrollment dates have not started yet. But I'm going to leave a link down in the description box so that you're able to join the wait list for my course. And you'll be able to receive updates when I am going to release um, or open up another enrollment period for my wig making classes. Also, with the summer coming up, I am going to start offering in-person classes. So you definitely want to join the wait list by clicking the link in my bio or in my description box, cause this is not Instagram. <laughs>